Welcome to the opening video for the 2023 Cabin Fever Challenge. What is the Cabin Fever Challenge? It's a shooting competition where you demonstrate positional shooting uh, in a timely manner. Five rounds standing, five rounds kneeling, five rounds prone, five rounds sitting in that order with the mandatory five round reload in between each position. The course of fire is timed and there's a formula that you go through and a, and a final score is derived. The competition is uh, individual based and it is essentially an expression of safety and competency with your firearm. So people who don't have the, the skills or the experience or the knowledge base in order to be able to use a firearm safely should not be entering into this competition. And additionally, people that you nominate to enter into the competition should also have the same skill sets or at least a similar skill set so that they conduct the, uh, the, uh, the, the course of fire safely. Uh, the term of the competition starts today, January 1st, 2023, and terminates or closes on March 31st, 2023. So that's a total of three months for you to be able to get your submission or submissions in. There are a total of six rifle divisions. Division 1, any semi-auto rifle that began production on or before 1958 and remains in unaltered condition. No pimping. That's, that's the vintage or the original or is issued... Uh, division Division One Vintage Semi-Auto. So, for example, the M305, the M1A, the AG42, the VZ5257, the SKS, the M1 Carbine, M1 Garand, SFN, and so on. Division Two, which is modern, unlimited, which means essentially any semi-automatic rifle that does not meet the uh, the requirements of Division One would fall within uh, Division Two. So that's essentially, you know, you could have modified uh, vintage rifles, or you could have pretty much any any modern unlimited style semi-automatic rifle. Division three is manual repeating, so your bolt actions, your pump action, to lever actions, and so on. Division four single shots. Division five muzzle loaders, and division six 22 rimfire. And uh, 2022 was the first time that Division 6 was shot, and it was hugely successful. So I'm looking forward to seeing what, uh, what everybody else comes up to uh, for 2023. Um, where to find more information on the competition? So you can find the rules, and you can find uh, an online discussion on um, our Facebook group, at Cabin Fever Challenge, one word, at symbol, Cabin Fever Challenge, or you can go to the riflechair.com website where you will find all of the rules, all of the information, and uh, resources that you need in order to be able to shoot the competition. Uh, there's also, uh, you can contact your, your, your division leaders at cfcdivisions at gmail.com, cfcdivisions at gmail.com. The accepted targets for this competition are for divisions one to four, an eight inch circle at 100 meters. Those targets are also available on the website and through the rule set where there's a free uh, downloadable PDF which you can print on an eight and a half by 11 piece of paper. It's an eight inch circle. Uh, division five is the same target, the eight inch circle, but at 50 meters and division six also downloadable off the website is a four inch target which you shoot at 50 meters. Shooting positions and reloads. All positions are unsupported. However, the use of a hasty sling may be used. So for example, this uh, beautiful Tika Arctic here, it's clear. We essentially have a one and a quarter inch mag pull sling on here. And uh, really anything larger in diameter for one and a quarter inches is considered to fall kind of within the within the realm of a target sling. However, this is essentially just your standard kind of uh, hunting rifle kind of sling, and it may be used as a hasty sling. So for example, this sling would be fine for the purposes of the competition. Okay, so that is essentially the only kind of support that you may be able to use for all four shooting positions if you choose. Uh, so standing, kneeling, prone, sitting. Okay, in that order, 
it has to be in that order. If you get the, the order mixed up, you'll have to either re reshoot or you will be disqualified. Scoring. So uh, bullet strikes have to uh, reside within the within the eight-inch circle or the four-inch circle if you're shooting the 22 rimfire. But all all of the, the the bullet strikes that will count for score have to reside within the black circle of target. Uh, bullet strikes that cut the edge are counted. Those that uh, are outside the black circle are misses. The honor system. So we. Because this is essentially a mail order kind of uh, competition, uh, although it is online, people that cheat, people that are breaking the rules, maybe your target isn't quite 100 meters away, you know what, uh, yeah, those people are cheating. But essentially what, what, we, what the, we, we prefer to, to look at this competition through the lens of trust is that we trust you. We trust that you're not going to break the rules. You're not going to try to, you know... The only person you really that you're doing is the only person you're cheating is yourself. That's the way we look at it. If you cheat, so essentially the spirit and intent of the match is not necessarily to to beat all of your competitors, but to see where you put your finger on the pulse of where your own individual musketry skills are, where your own um, individual safe handling drills are, and and see if you're improving. I mean, the more times you enter this this competition throughout the years, you'll be able to track kind of where your scores are. We manage what we refer to as the role of musketry. So all competitors are entered into the role of musketry. And we, you can see where you are throughout the years, whether you're making a, an advancement or improvement in your, in your marksmanship or your musketry skills, you'll be able to track that. And we can kind of see trends and patterns depending on which rifle division as to where generally most shooters reside. And there's a kind of a winner circle and then there's the developing shooters and then there's the people in the middle which are growing and developing individually. Uh, submitting your scores. There's two different ways now for this year. Or the, uh, you can send your scores to uh, just read the rules. Uh, read the rule set so you know exactly what it is required for you to be able to submit your rules. Sorry, submit your scores. It's more than just your score. We want to know um, how many hits on target, how, what your time in sections, what time in sex, seconds was, what your score is, what your rifle is, caliber, model, make, um, what your name is, all of this kind of information, and the video link for which you actually um, filmed your submission. So we, all people that come into the competition, you'll be filming yourselves doing it. Uh, division leaders will watch your video, make sure that you kind of follow the rules, and. Uh, double check your scores, and then we're, we're off to the races. Your your name will be entered into the Royal Musketry. Um, the other way of submitting your scores is through an online form that we're going to be trying for the first time this year, and that will be available for you. Uh, there's a hyperlink straight to the to the uh, score submissions website where you can submit your form and your scores and your information. So there's two different ways of submitting this year. Uh, unsafe practices. So. Uh, submissions or participants that have demonstrated unsafe uh, practices uh, will be automatically disqualified from the competition. We just simply will not put up with that. And I think all of you would agree. Uh, we want to exemplify excellence in safety and you know, honestly, we'll be watching your submission. So it may be opportunities for all of us to learn from what you have uh, submitted. And so, uh, we, we want to see everybody on the spectrum from the low end all the way up to your your ultra high shooters you know your ultra high proficiency shooters uh, legendary shooters even because we want to learn from you we want to see your example and we want to try to exemplify that and and, and adopt what we've seen you do into our own shooting um, and you know here's the thing is that don't let your ego get in the way get in get into the competition it's something that anybody can get into. Um, if you're an inexperienced shooter, make sure that you you try to get a mentor or a coach to assist you. If you're not sure about, you know, the safety or the marksmanship, have somebody help you through the process and guide you. Uh, maybe there's other shooters out there who have who have done this, and so you you can, you know, they have some experience. You can work with them, but 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 get involved. Um, we talked about the spirit and intent just a little bit, but essentially. You know, it's it's more about individual development and learning, rather than than is about beating your competitors. Now, I know there's definitely a competitive spirit to, to the competition, and um, and that's great, and I, I enjoy that as well. However, really, honestly, the way most of us look at it is that the only people we're competing against is ourselves. 
where am I at? How, where are my skills? And, and am I improving or am I maintaining? It's okay to maintain. That's perfectly fine. And, um, uh, you will also notice is that at the end of this whole process, there will be an awards video and all six of our division leaders will be involved in kind of rolling up what happened in their spe specific division and filming an awards video. Our division leaders for this year are Division 1, Distract Teach, Division 2, Orgear, Division 3, Curio and Relic Collector, a new division leader for this year. Thanks for coming on board. Division 4, Mr. Tudenau, Division 5, Three Bar Video, and Division 6, 22 Empire, Zuo Avier from Finland. Interesting that um, last year we had a very interesting, this is an international competition. We have shooters from all over the world entering. Last year, 29% uh, of the entries came from Canada. 52% of the entries came from the United States. 13% of the entries came from Finland. And 2% of the entries came from Switzerland. And also there were entries from the Czech Republic, Great Britain, and Australia. And we would love to see all of you come back and, and shoot the competition again. And if there's other countries and other shooters out there that are able to do the same, welcome aboard, come on, and um, just follow the rules, and it'll be great. The division team, or the, uh, the, um, the delivery team, got together and went through what's referred to as a team charter. And we, we, we wrote up a new team charter. I just wanted to give you kind of what we came up with for what the purpose of the Cabin Fever Challenge is. We came up with three points, and I'd like to read them for you now. One, to provide a space where shooters demonstrate safe handling drills and to develop their musketry skills. Two, to advocate continuous improvement for shooters to take advantage of training opportunities, the martial aspect of firearms, and to promote a learning environment. Three, to promote that one of the responsibilities of firearms ownership is developing and maintaining proficiency. And that goes across all spectrums of, of proficiency, whether it's safe handling drills or your musketry skills. So that's essentially it. The intro video for the Cabin Fever Challenge 2023. Please re review the rules. If you have any questions, you can contact your division leader through the CFC divisions at gmail.com email address or you can visit our Facebook group at Cabin Fever Challenge. And uh, we hope to hear from you. We hope to uh, have an interesting conversation with you as we move over the next three months. That's it, folks. Cheers, and as always, Maple Leaf up.